At one point or another, you've probably fallen in love with Olivia Common. Over the past few years, she has provided outstanding performances in countless independent dramas and big-budget family flicks. After her surprising but deserving Oscar win in 2019, Kalman has rapidly become one of the industry's most beloved and desired names. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Olivia Kalman. Olivia Kalman is actually her stage name. In case you missed it, Olivia Kalman is not actually her name. Her real name is Sarah Caroline Olivia Kalman. Explaining her choice of professional name to the Independent, Kalman said, One of my best friends at university was called Olivia, and I always loved her name. I was never Sarah, I was always called by my nickname, Kali, so it didn't seem so awful not to be called Sarah. After marrying actor-writer Ed Sinclair, her official name became Sarah Caroline Sinclair, which thoroughly confused fans when she received her CBE at the Queen's Birthday Honors in 2019. She accepted the award under the name Sarah Sinclair. She used to work as a cleaner. Whether you believe it or not, Kalman first tried to become a teacher. However, it didn't work out, and she quickly dropped out before realizing acting was her true passion. Eventually, she studied at the Bristol Old Vic Drama School, but sustained herself financially by working as a temp and a cleaner. During her memorable acceptance speech for the Best Actress Academy Award in 2019, she mentioned her time as a cleaner, telling the world, any little girl who is practicing their speech on the telly, you never know. I used to work as a cleaner, I love that job, I used to spend quite a lot of my time practicing. Her peep show role was an accident. In 2003, she became a part of the British sitcom Peep Show, where she played Sophie Chapman. However, she fell in with Peep Show's David Mitchell and Robert Webb by accident. She answered an audition advert, imagining it would be an amateur dramatic society, but instead found it was for Footlights, the Cambridge finishing school for comedians. She said, I owe Rob and David so much, they gave me my first job. I might not be doing this at all if it wasn't for them. And they're lovely friends. Her role lasted for the first seven seasons when she decided to depart the show. However, she returned as a guest for the ninth and final season. The show received critical acclaim and was a hit with viewers in Britain. She met her husband in a student theatre production. Kalman first met her husband, Ed Sinclair, in the Cambridge University Drama Club. The two were cast in a student theatre production of Alan Eichborn's Table Manners. At the time, Sinclair was a third-year law student. Kalman told The Telegraph that it was love at first sight for her and they tied the knot in 2001. Her most embarrassing moment is really embarrassing. Olivia Kalman revealed she once wet herself while on stage and it was all Peep Show co-star David Mitchell's fault. Speaking with the National Theatre co-director Rufus Norris for the video series Life in Stages, Kalman said, it was his fault. It is also a fear in the back of my head that I could pee myself on stage. I did do it once, on a rake stage. My entire bladder emptied, and it just went towards the audience in the front row. It made it worse. I just could not stop. She gained weight to play Queen Anne in The Favourite. Kalman has been a respected talent in her native Britain for some time now, but she didn't gain recognition on the international scene until she played a pair of queens in quick succession. She won Best Actress for her portrayal of the largely overlooked Queen Anne in The Favourite, in which two ambitious ladies-in-waiting compete for the affections of a tragic and unstable monarch. To play the role, Kalman reportedly gained 35 pounds so she wouldn't have to use prosthetics. When asked how she did it, she joked that there was no technique, just triple portions. After filming, she said she worked with a personal trainer to lose weight. Playing the Queen in the Crown was her most challenging role yet. Though looking like a natural in the role of the Queen in the Crown, Olivia Colman has admitted it's been her most challenging role yet, as it required a huge amount of research. She told Harper Bazaar, I don't really enjoy research. But for this, I have to accept it. I can't just sit like me, I have to sit like her and look like pictures of her. They have been teaching me how to walk, I'm really terrible at that, I have no physical awareness. I walk a bit like a farmer, one of the directors said. She's a Marvel nerd. Even though Olivia Kalman has twice played a queen, she revealed that other genres interest her as well. Specifically, comic book movies. She told Screen Daily in early 2021 that she would love to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She said, Every time there's a Marvel movie, I phone my agent and say, please can I be in a Marvel movie? Because I'm a Marvel nerd. However, Kalman also admitted that even with her impressive resume, a role as a superhero may never be a possibility. 
She told Vulture, I've always wanted to play a Marvel baddie. I'm not sure how many middle-aged women they have in Marvel. Only a few months after her Screen Daily interview, news broke that Kalman finally got her wish. As reported by Entertainment Weekly, she joined Marvel's TV series, Secret Invasions, appearing alongside Amelia Clark and Samuel L. Jackson. Her surprising passion. Kalman didn't always have the confidence of a queen and certainly didn't come from a royal family, and she also has a few passions that are sure to surprise you. Growing up in England not far from the North Sea meant that she had room to explore. At the age of 12, she first learned to drive a car in a local field while being propped up on her car enthusiast father's knee in the car. This also started her own passion for cars. For example, she remembered reading driving magazines growing up. By the age of 16, Kalman already had an official rally license, which could be used to compete in races. Her earliest memory of a specific car was a Mini owned by her mother, a nurse who reportedly made a bed in the back of the car for her daughter to sleep in, as she saw patients. When it came time to have her own car, Kalman drove a Morris Minor, which she called Moomin. The retro car, which first debuted in 1948, is considered a classic British vehicle by Auto Express. She is very involved in charity and activism. Along with being a great actress, Kalman also keeps busy working with charities and activism groups. In 2013, she presented two awards at the Mind Media Awards, which celebrate positive portrayals of mental health in the media. In 2014, she became a patron of the UK charity group Tender, which teaches young people how to prevent sexual abuse and domestic violence. Additional charity work Kalman has worked on includes Alzheimer's Society and Anthony Nolan, a blood cancer charity, which she became patron of in 2018.